this is Jenny from ConscientiousConfusion.com and I'm here to answer one of the biggest questions that I get about grain living and modifying your body products to exclude chemicals. Most people ask me what do you use for deodorant because, um, and I'll put this in the blog post that's going to accompany this video, but there are a lot of undesirable chemicals that are in your normal antiperspirant or even your normal deodorant. Uh, I think the one of the main concern is aluminum. Um, anyway, I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I'm demonstrating this. This is one of the crystals. You may have seen these at the health store. Um, it's a crystal. It's just a rock, you know, in a plastic container, and that is, this is mostly what I use for deodorant. Um, and most people tell me, oh, I tried that, that didn't work, or my hippie aunt uses that and she smells like a barn. Um, so I wanted to go over how you should correctly apply this because if you do it wrong, it's not going to work and you might smell like a barn. So um, here's the crystal and it's, it's dry, it's just a rock, I mean, it's literally, it's a rock. So what you're going to do, and I'll say this from the instructions, is wet it. Now, one of the first problems that you're going to have is if you get it too wet, you will never get it to dry on your skin, okay? So what you want to do, I don't know if you can see this, probably not in the video. I'll hold my hand behind the faucet a little bit. You can see it's literally just drip, 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 dripping. It is not running. It is not a full stream. It's just dripping. So I take my crystal and I hold it under for just a second to where it really literally only gets one drip on it, okay? One drip. So it's not very wet at all. It's just barely damp. In fact, if you don't dry a lot after the shower and your body is fairly wet under your arms, um, you possibly wouldn't even have to wet it. You could just use the moisture from your shower um, if you want to do that. But sometimes I find that there just actually isn't enough moisture, but one drop, okay? First key, only one drop, do not get it too wet. Because what you're gonna do, I'm gonna do this on my arm just like I do in the commercials because I feel like it's kind of weird for me to be rubbing something on my underarm on the internet. So I'm gonna rub it on my arm. You're gonna notice when it's wet that it's gonna slide really easily. Okay, I'm gonna start a timer on this. Um, the magic of video editing to show you how long you need to do this. Because here's the thing, it's gonna start out wet, all right? And so what you're doing is you're massaging the water into your skin with the stick, okay, with, with the rock. So eventually what's going to happen is it's going to dry out. The friction is going to, you know, evaporate the water, but you're leaving a coat of the residue from the crystal on you. So as you can see how I'm slowing down, it's getting sticky, okay? It's getting to the point where there's no water left, and that's what you want. Most people are going to stop before this. You're used to, what you're used to is a deodorant. Okay, it has stopped, and now when I touch it, my arm is dry. You're also going to be able to see just a little bit, my arm is a little red. This does happen to my underarms too. That's okay, the red will go away, um, it's not going to cause cuts, it's not going to hurt you, it's just the fact that you were rubbing on it a little bit that's going to make it do that. But the thing is, this is why it doesn't work for most people. They are used to commercial deodorant or antiperspirant where you just wipe it on and you're done, okay? And that's great, it's fast, whatever if you're okay with the chemicals, but for the crystal to work, you're going to have to rub it until all the water is gone. Okay, and that's going to take a while. It, um, I think the average, I've timed it a couple times, and the average is about 30 seconds, but if you get too much water on it, you could be rubbing for a full minute. Um, and in the morning sometimes, if I get it too wet and I have to rub it for a minute, I mean, my arms have gone, my, my fingers in this hand have gone dead because you're holding your, your arm. Um, but that's the key to having crystal deodorant work. You have to be patient and you have to know not to get it too wet because you're going to rub it until it gets dry. It has to be dry. That is the key. Um, and for me, I actually also, after I get through the deodorant, uh, crystal deodorant, I put on a solid too. So but it's a natural solid. In fact, you can do the homemade solid, whatever you want. Um, you could layer like that, like I do sometimes, but to me, I've tried the solid by itself, it does not work well. I've tried the crystal by itself, and it's not super, it's not as effective in, um, in the summer. But, if you want the crystal to work at all, that's how you've got to do it. Hope that helps and answers your questions.